You can kind of see through me, which is kind of cool. uh, Yeah, you can. <laughs> I'm only partially here. We're halfway through the week, and I have slowly disintegrated over the last couple of days. <laughs> Just thought I'd share that with everyone there. Oh, no. Yes, my shirt is partially green in color, which means I fade into the background. No. Oh, well, at least you sort of fade in. With my green, I'd completely disappear. Uh, this, is, this is true. <clears throat> so, uh... <laughs> You can see by I, our... I see, I see. Our meme of the day is actually from one of our viewers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she got some LPNN The Shirt uh, merch. Merch. <laughs> or swag or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and uh, apparently her tortoise has uh, some uh, some aspirations of becoming a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or a rocket propelled tortoise. <laughs> yeah, it, well, it could be. It could be. It's still RPT, so uh, yeah. Rupert would be proud. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so she posted this up in the group this morning and I just couldn't stop chuckling. <laughs> honorary Rupert. Honorary Rupert, yes. He has been dubbed Honorary Rupert. That is epic. I love it. Thank you very much for sharing. <laughs> and thank you for supporting LPNN. Yes. <laughs> so it, it's actually kind of funny. <laughs> David's laughing. <laughs> so uh, actually, David, I'm glad you're here. So it's hilarious. Uh, David actually uh, made some comments last night on, uh, I think it was on the news, wasn't it? I, I don't know. Yeah, they were just news. telling me about it. Well, it's funny because we were sitting there discussing, you know, future things and one of the things that we discussed was actually saying, you know, the nightly news, we, we have our sponsors, and uh, one of the things we were thinking about doing that came to my mind was, well, maybe it should also be sponsored by LPNN, the shirt. And as I said that, a comment came across the news feed, and David had the exact same idea at the exact same time. So great minds, David, great minds. <laughs> <laughs> Marilyn's giving us the thumbs up. Hey, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Mario says, good morning, y'all. Good morning, Mario. Good morning, Mario. <laughs> are you guys still in the, in the forecast for rain down there? So uh, we are in forecast oh, yeah. for rain here as well. 50%, huh? 50% chance, which means either we're it's going to be down. dry as a bone, <laughs> or we're all going to wash away. We'll have to see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> I believe the highest percentage chance is around 4 o'clock today, so we'll have to keep our eyes on it. Yeah, which means it'll probably happen around 11. Yeah, or not at all. <laughs> no, not at all. Because <laughs> the weather prediction is absolutely amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, the morning show is also brought to you by all of our wonderful people over here. This is what this thank you list is for. These are all people that have helped uh, try and keep the morning show alive. And... By LPNN, the tortoise. <laughs> I love it. I love or, I mean, the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, David says, good morning. Good morning, and, David. And Mario says, yes, we are. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. <coughs> oh, so, goodness. yeah. Fun stuff, man. Yes. Fun stuff. So, why are you wearing that shirt today? Oh, yes. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. So... I don't know if it'll actually show up in here. Can can you see that? I I, I don't know. Well, look into the thing. Oh, you can't. So there's lag, man. Lag. Yeah, there's lag. <laughs> All right. So uh, yes, you can. All right. It just doesn't have the same colors that it. Yeah, does it doesn't. So this is a green, green and yellow shirt, and amazingly, it's actually showing up. This is a Giraffes United against Ceiling Fans. It made me laugh, so I had to wear it. Oh, look, I'm like almost invisible yeah, over there. Yeah, you were. <laughs> you blend in with the grass. <laughs> so, Giraffes United against Ceiling Fans. Ah, power to the giraffes. <laughs> or the tall folks. Yeah, yeah. So, that's funny that I actually disappear when I stand up more yeah. than when I sit down. That's kind of funny. Well, it's because of the grass back there. It's that, well, no, it's actually the, the lighting. Uh -oh. It has to do with the lighting. Okay, fine, whatever. Either way. Oh, Mario it. says, rained all day, 40% chance. Nice. Woo. Nice. Yeah, you, you guys need, need it down there to wash out that concrete jungle a little bit. Uh, yeah, so, no yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Hot and toasty. Hot and toasty. 
All right. Oh, so, <clears throat> did we did we do anything exciting yesterday, Lois? Um, I went out to places. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I, I I said exciting because that wasn't <laughs> exciting. Oh, Woo! Don't stupid. break the chair. Now well, the chair popped on me. <laughs> so um yeah, I said exciting, not uh, frivolous, <laughs> pointless. <laughs> Oh, Marilyn <laughs> says, oh dear. <laughs> yeah, I fall down and go boom. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, she went out to go uh, look for some more sponsors, and, well, that didn't work out. Not yet. So, we'll, we'll, we'll keep yet. trying. Yeah. We will keep trying uh, until then, or even after then. Hey, Don't yeah. forget, LP and N the shirt. Every one of those uh, sends $5 to us for the cause of keeping the news alive. Or the premium. Uh, well, there's, yeah, LPNN uh, yeah. the shirt, LPNN the premium shirt, but they both say LPNN I know. the shirt. <laughs> so we do have a normal shirt and a premium shirt. We get between 5 and $7, depending on which one you order. <laughs> so if we sell tons and tons of those, well, then we'll be able to actually sustain this thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Working for free isn't fun. <laughs> um, I don't think we did really anything f- Fun per se yesterday. Yeah. No, you were out poking around trying to get stuff. Oh, we had to we had to take the sound system back to the library. Hey, yeah, and we came across an accident. Oh yeah, yeah, we did. We covered an accident yesterday, and we ran into one of our fans at the yes. accident site. Yes, they pulled up next to us, and they're like, they're like, hi, and I'm like, hi. <laughs> 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 Gina says, Chris, you look like you're going to disappear at any moment with the green shirt. Yes, that is the yes. idea. <laughs> I'm only partially here today. <laughs> so, yeah, we ran into one of our fans uh, at, at the scene of an accident uh, while we were driving along, and they're like, hi. And we're like, hi. And they're like, what you guys doing for the news? And we pointed at the accident, and they're like, oh. <laughs> so that was kind of fun. Yeah. We had a good time. But, um, uh, yeah, that, that was, uh, no one was hurt, which is good. Yes, yay. That was, that's Woo. always a good thing. And it looked it looked like a nasty one, too. Which, yeah, yeah, it looked like it, some yeah. kind of T-bone or something. It's something. Um, but it, it's just, you know, from being in a profession where I was on accident scenes, um, it, it, it's just a roll of the dice yeah, as than, to whether yeah. or not somebody's going to get hurt. Yeah, you never know. But thankfully, no one was yeah. hurt, <clears throat> which is always that is, a good thing. Yes, that always is a, a very good thing. Good thing. Um, so, fruitless efforts of, of trying to find sponsors and an accident. And I think that was, a, you know, well, I mean, we had behind the scenes work, but nothing happened. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. No. It was pretty a mediocre day yesterday. <laughs> yep, yeah, all around pretty mediocre. Oh, well, sometimes we need those though. <laughs> no, no. Yes. yes. No, we need yes. more productive days, Lois. <laughs> it was productive. <laughs> <clears throat> what did you bring up? Because I, 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 I don't recognize. Of this. course you don't, because I pulled up some things today. I, I see this. <laughs> you have a lot of tabs open. I, I got a few. <laughs> Not a lot. Just, just a few. I had some things that I wanted to share with you know this is this actually came across uh, the real news feed and the headline was just like wait (laughs) (laughs) so you know versus looking for interesting headlines so if you guys remember we talked about yesterday uh, all of the different regulations that the EU is coming out with and all of those things well Russia has decided to join the club (laughs) so here's the headline for you Russians could face jail for not deleting news judged to be fake. <clears throat> it made me chuckle because, you know, in, in Russia... You Unless don't, it's state-supported. <laughs> in Russia, you don't report the news, the news reports you. <laughs> don't interrupt oh, my jokes, oh. man. Don't interrupt my jokes. David, he says, did the hospital find any turnips to give blood? <laughs> Um, I don't know. Unfortunately, we got notice that the hospital was doing that, and they asked us to get the word out two and a half hours before it was over. So we're not really sure how many people got to get down there, uh, according to the videos uh, that some people saw. It and, uh, well, yeah, and they're heading over there. But um, uh, when you got two and a half hours left to the end of your event, yeah. yeah. Um, we're, but trying, we're trying, we're trying. Know, I mean, Horseshoe Bend is saying, what up? Hey, Horseshoe Bend, good Hi. to see you. I, Haven't seen you in a while. I know. Thanks for uh, joining the show. <laughs> but there is another opportunity for the blood drive. Yes, there is another and, opportunity. And that is tomorrow at the high school. Uh, yes, yes. 
So I, I yeah. think we have a post up or something. Uh, yeah, uh, we did it in the news last night. Oh, it's <laughs> in the news last night. Okay. <laughs> I'm not awake yet. Leave me alone. And we'll be in the news again tonight. So anyway, you've spoiled my job <laughs> three times now. I am sorry. <laughs> the wave is here. Hi, wave. Hi, guys. The wave is waving. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank all of you guys for liking, sharing, and commenting on all these posts. We really do appreciate it. It does help us defeat the almighty Facebook algorithm. <laughs> all hail the Zuckerberg. Oh, boy. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, that's from Space Oh, no. President Scroob. That's what we're going to start calling him. Zuckerberg is now President Scroob. Actually, I think Scroob has more scruples. (laughs) Probably. (laughs) And and less control. (laughs) Someone need to put his head on backwards, I'm just saying. Oh, no. Oh, oh no! Yeah, it, it's one of those things. I'm telling you, man. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. But anyway, so back to the headline: Russians can face jail for not deleting news judged to be fake. And and as I as I said in Russia, you do not report the news; the news reports you. And pretty much. <laughs> it goes back to the whole EU thing we were talking about yesterday: how they're going to be banning this and regulating that and copyright protecting this and basically screwing the entire internet community because, well, I guess they can. (laughs) Just because you can do something doesn't necessarily mean you should be doing something. Yeah, it's... Anyway, yeah, Russia is apparently joining the EU in their, you know, their thing. In their idiocy? Yeah, pretty much. (laughs) It's funny, too, because, you know, it, everyone's like, oh, it's fake news. Well, who gets to judge what's fake news? It sounds, you know, I mean, in Russia, it doesn't necessarily mean it's fake news. It means they judge it to be fake. It's very subjective. Well, well I was thinking in Russia, <laughs> anything that does not come out of the state is fake news. But that's not true, because they could have... Well, that's what, that's who makes that determination over there. Oh, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Kelly says good morning. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Kelly. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> But I'm just saying, so for instance, you know, because they're not in the EU, it's Russia. If somebody created a meme of Vladimir Putin doing something absolutely oh. heroic that was fake, that would probably be okay. Uh, probably. Yeah, I'm just probably. saying. Probably. It's subjective. Or Putin on the Ritz. <laughs> <laughs> Putin on the Ritz. <laughs> if y'all have not seen that, you should look it up. Yeah, you know what? It, it is should funny. <laughs> I'm going to pull that up now. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you done it now. Uh-oh. So, Uh-oh. who here knows, what's the name of that original song? Put, uh, <laughs> it's putting on the, on the Ritz. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's. <laughs> it's by the, 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 the Come on, uh, Lois. Okay. Um, we're going to get here. copyrighted for this? No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. All right, where's my stuff? There yeah, it is. It, it's from the uh, from the eighties band Taco, and it's called Putin on the Ritz. Oh, is it? Okay, it and, is. All right. <laughs> well, this is Putin on the Ritz. Oh my! <laughs> I'm trying to pull it up. Give me a second. Lois has completely lost all functionality I have in the morning because show. I, I love the song. And yeah, it's this pretty one funny. Just, the, this this one just cracks me up. Yeah, it's it's pretty funny. Oh, so if you guys, when you guys hear the tune, you'll you'll recognize. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on! Everybody that's in here is gonna recognize this song. I hope so. <laughs> so this is Putin on the Ritz, not Putin on the Ritz. This is Putin on the Ritz. We're gonna go ahead and pull that over. I gotta unmute it real quick. Oh no! All right, here we go. Who's ready for Putin on the Ritz? Oh goodness! <laughs> and we shouldn't I get can't... copyrighted because it's already a parody, but we might. So, whatever, it doesn't matter. At least it was fun. Let's think of it that way. Yeah, yeah. There we go. You don't know where right. to go to. Why don't you go where fashion sits? Putting on the Ritz. Different types of wear pretty coat. Pants with straps. Cut away coat. Perfect fits. Putting on the Ritz. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll call okay. that good. <laughs> yeah, please, because I'm... The... the the broken counter is gonna break soon. The broken oh, it's already broken. <laughs> my, my broken counter. <laughs> oh, and then uh, let's see. Ali says actually, Taco was not a band; he was a solo singer. Well, so well, there you go. Uh, Apparently, yeah, he was a solo singer, and he probably ate tacos as well. Um, on Tuesdays, it's like share. Share. Oh, uh, right. you know. So yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. solo. Eh, whatever. Either way, 
Hilarious. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> on the, the rich. <laughs> and David says there is no accounting for some people's taste. <laughs> yeah, I got no taste, but I saw that, and now every time I hear that song, all I can think of is Putin on a Ritz. <laughs> The president slash dictator of Russia raiding on a cracker oh. through the countryside. I mean, come on. Oh, no. That is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Horseshoe oh. says uh, the song was written by Irving Berlin in 1920. Are wow. you serious? Wow. I'm going to have to well, look that up. That, yeah. is, that is fascinating. It makes know. sense for some of the lyrics, though. It does. they're it talking does, yeah. about the Rockefellers and, you know, the, yeah. the big names. So what did they, like, remix it, I guess, and redid it? And I guess. Either way, Irving Berlin, I'll be darned. That is really interesting. It, yeah, it is. Yeah. Thank you for the uh, the bit of history. Yes. M- music history. Blue skies <laughs> smiling. Oh, no. Blue. Nothing but blue oh, skies. No. Do it's I not see? Musical Monday. No, it's war- <laughs> it's Warbly Wednesday. Oh, what is Warbly? I just warbled. And you just warbled. <laughs> <laughs> It's like birds do, or kind of like, you know, like when, when I try and sing it, it's kind of warbly. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> Lois. Huh? Lois. Kelly says, dangerous <laughs> to drink coffee and listen to your show. Well, good. Good. That is our mission in life, is to help you blow your sinuses clean with a coffee enema. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sinus enema with coffee. Oh, no. Reverse no. style. Yeah. No, 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 no. Poop non Oh no! <laughs> and this is why I put my coffee down. I don't even know times. why you bother trying to drink your coffee. You never finish it because you can't drink it, let I alone do. focus during the morning show, Lois. I do finish it. No. Yes. <laughs> ah, we got Renee. I see you guys. I got you. I see you. Thanks for joining us. So yeah, I just, I don't know. It just it made me chuckle. And Gina says, yes, it was. I'm not sure what she Probably was. when the song was made. Oh, okay. Written. With Irving Berlin. Yeah. I, that is really cool. That is really cool. I'll have to check that out. That is that is an interesting little factoid. It, it is. It is. That apparently some dude named Taco, who was a solo singer, recreated a song from 1927 written by Irving Berlin, which is kind of interesting. It is. And it'll go into your useless facts. Yes. <laughs> Permanent <laughs> and, and permanent so storage. Something, something so else I'm supposed to remember <laughs> just got flushed down the toilet. Thank you very much. <laughs> what I was just thinking. says, waiting for coffee. <laughs> Apparently, you need to be careful today. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man. So, so oh, I remember you. Yeah, I was me talking about, about this. So we we were talking yesterday about the EU and how they've decided to put the shaft to the entire internet and everyone that uses it. And apparently they think it's a good thing. And today we were discussing how Russia is uh, is going to be uh, putting people in jail for quote unquote fake news. So you know what? I'd probably get put in jail for Putin on the Ritz. Except some people might like it, which might be okay, depending on how they're feeling for the day. Yeah, yeah pretty much. So we have more internet news for you today. Uh oh, Kelly's dying over yeah, here. Apparently. <laughs> <coughs> this is groundbreaking news. And if you didn't know it, well, now you will. <laughs> this is actually really interesting. It is, but that, that headline, Lois. I know! Drop the subtext. This is the funny part. Okay. All right. Thank you. Jeez. Why so serious? Really? Anyway. <laughs> <coughs> Here it is. Come on, Lois. You can do it. <laughs> Netflix tells court it isn't a video service provider. I'm going to let that sit with you for a second. Netflix tells the court it isn't a video service provider. And yes, this is a real headline. And yes, it is a real court case. And yes, they told the court it isn't a video service provider. None of these things are in dispute. This all actually happened. So you might be wondering, like, wait, what? Because <laughs> cause what, what is it that Netflix does? What is it that they do? Ah! Come on! Come on, Lois! Oh, jeez. I'm i trying to keep quiet so you, I'm not interrupting you. <laughs> it, 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 it provides videos over the internet. <laughs> it does, it does. So, it, you know, it, the headline itself is hilarious, obviously, because... It's like, wait, what? Like, Netflix is not a video service provider? When you dig a little deeper, 
you come to find out some interesting things. So the EU is trying to shaft the internet. <laughs> well, uh, accomplishing shafting the internet. Russia apparently is also attempting to do it. And welcome to the home to the United States of America because there is a state here in the United States that is attempting to do the same thing. <clears throat> Only one? There is... No, I... <laughs> That is, uh, they're, they're very frustrated, if you will. They have, uh, they, they put a, a special kind of taxes on all of the cable providers in the state so that they could get extra revenue. You know, taking their money so that they could spend it for the betterment of their state or whatever you want to call it. We won't get into the details of that. It's but, not that show. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, so they put this tax out there, and then everybody in the state has been cutting the cord, you know, cutting cable out and going online. Not because necessarily of the taxes, but just because, you know, it's the 21st century, people watch their content online. Kind of like The Morning Cup. <laughs> or any other shows that might, like, maybe Netflix would provide. Right. And so the state realized, oh no, we're losing tons and tons of money. How can we fix this? So they decided to go ahead and attempt the same taxes on Netflix. So they took them to court. They sued them and said, you have to pay us because you're providing video service in our state. I'm a, so the actual taxes amount is 5% of the gross revenue of the company. Do you have any idea how much money Netflix makes? It's in the billions of dollars. And they spend over 90-something percent of it back on to their infrastructure and to producing content for their subscribers. But this state wants to charge them 5% of, uh, of their gross stuff. And so, obviously, you know, if, if you can wrap your head around it, this could be, have huge implications across the country, across the world. We have 50 states. If each one of them wants 5% of the gross revenue, we're already over 100%. Bye-bye, Netflix. Yeah, Netflix is now dead. Thank Bye -bye, you. Bye-bye, Amazon. Bye-bye, right? -bye, Hulu. And so, there, you know, that's why they say Netflix tells the court it isn't a video service provider. There's actually a very specific definition of what a video service provider is in the original law that they're trying to sue them over. And according to that law, video, or Netflix actually isn't. A video service provider. So th that's kind of the unfunny part. But just Netflix tells court it isn't a video service provider. I mean, come on. <laughs> but they're trying to save their company, and uh, you should be on their side because if not, you think Netflix and Jill is cool. Well, it's gonna be gone. I was thinking, hello, state sanctioned TV. <laughs> pretty much, right? <laughs> Where you don't watch the TV, the TV watches yeah, you. Pretty much. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. This stuff is getting out of hand. Oh, my goodness. What, it is. What it state is. was this? Hold on. Uh, oh, no. Um, Misery. Uh, yeah, Missouri. Yeah, they're already miserable over there, apparently. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Missouri? Pull your head out of your collective heinies. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I mean, I just, no. <laughs> this is, a, that, that's, that's another show. The line you're going down mentally is another show. <laughs> <laughs> Leave my Netflix alone. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Oh. Uh, no, uh, uh, no, 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 <laughs> yeah. no, this is, this is no. horrifying. <laughs> I have terrorized Lois over here. <laughs> no, that happened when I, yeah, no. What? That happened at single digit age, age with this. Oh, yes, well, <laughs> anyway, so as, as all of no. you know, we have recently had a hurricane that has impacted uh, part of the United States. Our thoughts are with them. They're having to deal with some pretty serious flooding and things like yes. that. But one of the things that they're having to deal with has happened in several hurricanes because they're in more southern states. Luckily, we don't have them here yet. They are an invasive species of demon insects. <laughs> <laughs> we need Sam and Dean to take them out. Well, what, what is it? Tarantula wasps or whatever? Oh, yeah, tarantula hawks. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. No, this is not about tarantula hawks. This is about fire ants. Uh -uh. The most devious, evil insects in the world. <laughs> These things are nasty. So apparently, once again, we're having to deal with this over there where their th things are flooding. I mean, they've got all kinds of toxic stuff floating around in the water, you know, from hog farms and this and that. Ew. But this is even worse. 
And so I figured I would bring it up and uh, and share my horror with you as uh, as we look on here. Let's see if I can't pull this up no. momentarily. See, and I was traumatized as a kid in Death Valley because I ended up standing when our car broke down. Uh -huh. I ended up standing, unbeknownst to me, on a fire ant little entrance thing. Oh, so, yeah, on their mound? <laughs> yeah. That is some bad you It, it is. Ooh. That's why I'm, uh-uh. <laughs> no. I've already been traumatized by the these things. <laughs> so floating around in the flood waters are clusters of fire ants. No, 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 <clears throat> no. <laughs> and this is actually, it's actually quite a fascinating phenomenon. Because of the way the ants are designed and the way surface tension of water works, they're able to basically create a small air bubble around them that doesn't break the surface tension of the water. And so when they group together like this, you've got a giant floating ball of death. Pretty much, yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, this is you. This you can see this right here. This is a giant wad of fire ants. No. Yeah, <laughs> that is not ah. good. So it I'm gonna go not, ahead and hit play so you not. can see them bobbing along, bobbing just, along, bobbing along. Yeah, no. Yeah, look at that. That is just horrifying. And there, there's groups of them. They're looking at. I mean, there's there's some more. And can you imagine if you're wading or trying to swim through floodwaters and one of these things just bumps into you? Bye-bye. Yeah, oh, my. <laughs> look at it. Uh, just look no. at it. This is horrifying. No, 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 no. <laughs> so I thought I'd share that terror with you. It's just like, all right, you think you're scared no. of spiders? You think you're scared of this or that? Imagine a floating ball of fire ants. It, no, ah! it, no, 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 oh, no. Oh, man. Kelly says, saw a poor dog being eaten by them. Horrible. Yes, uh, fire ants are the devil. Uh, 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 Those things are vicious, man. No, no. Vicious. No. <laughs> so, anyway, wanted to gross you out for the day, Lois. Thanks. Just thought I'd share that with you. I've got one to gross you out with, so. Oh, I'm sure you do. We're getting sure you today <laughs> <laughs> at some point. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Got some more there for you, Lois. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> California, more. what the hell is wrong with you? It's California. That's the problem. <laughs> oh, I man. just read the headline. This isn't even the headline that made me click on it. The, uh, that one was actually even funnier. I, but <clears throat> but it shouldn't surprise me because it's the <clears throat> freaking Bay Area. Yes, yes. So, uh, Vegan Mondays coming to Berkeley after a new resolution has passed. So, yes, whether you like it or not, vegan food will now be served once a week at public functions in the town of Berkeley. So, are you saying it's only going... Uh, vegan food is only going to be allowed? On mon on Mondays at public functions, yeah. Or, uh, yeah. No, one... Yeah, I think it was actually Mondays. So, on, on Mondays at any public functions, only vegan food will be allowed to be served. They passed the resolution. <laughs> oh, I just can't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Once uh, again, <laughs> I just California has done it. I just can't because <laughs> everything in my vocabulary is um, uh, yeah, <laughs> 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 expletive laced. It's, it's horrifying. Oh my. No. Yep. Yeah, it's there, man. It is there. <sighs> vegan Mondays. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I have nothing against vegans. I, I whatever you do with your life, fine by me. Don't care. You know, don't don't care. Just don't force it on people. Pretty much. As I, I believe it was Thomas Jefferson once said, as long as it does not pick my pocket nor break my leg. Don't care what you're doing. Leave me alone. Oh my goodness, people! <laughs> but once again, right. they are forcing it upon everyone. <laughs> Come on, Berkeley. Yeah, Jeez. Yeah. Oh, I think Diana just fi just finally saw the meme for the day. She says, "Oh, Hank, get star uh, star status." <laughs> yes. 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 This is LPN the Hank. shirt, uh, and yep. uh, Hank is is Hank attempting. The tank. Yes, Hank the tank is uh, is attempting to turn himself into. A rocket-propelled tortoise. 
Just like, uh, you know, he, he, he aspires to be a turtle instead of a tortoise. So. <laughs> <laughs> Him and Rupert would make great friends. Yes, Although exactly. Rupert, I think, is about this big. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, you got to rewatch the beginning of the show, uh, Diana. We were talking about it. It's pretty funny stuff. So, oh. now that we've broken you, Lois. Now that we have broken I am so glad I escaped from California. Oh, wait, that was a movie. <laughs> escape from California? Uh, ultimately, it was Escape from L.A. Yeah, uh, yeah pretty much. But your <laughs> sister's still out there. <laughs> right now, she's not. Oh, yeah, that's right. She's over in Georgia. But the, yeah, but the majority of of my mom's side of the family is over there. It's like, wake up. Get out me. while you can. Pretty much. Oh, my goodness. No, yeah. you don't force it on people. You but that's what California be. does. Uh, that's what the, thank you, Gina. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have no worries, California. I know. I cannot believe this. It's like, what on earth is wrong with you people? I don't I know, just, man. I don't know. But there it is. There it is. Diana says, you should see him move my patio furniture all over. <laughs> yeah, I bet that's fun. <laughs> that's got to be good. Get this off the screen. I can't. <laughs> you just can't. I just anymore. can't. I am so thankful I left that state. Yeah. But, I mean, it was getting ridic ridiculous wow. to begin with um, before I left. And now it's just... I, yeah, but that's pretty much what it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly says, that's California for you. Bunch of whiners and social psychopaths. Phil Weeds or something. Uh, um, <laughs> see, and, and growing up, there is a saying that, yeah, yeah, pretty much, there's a saying that I heard uh, growing up in California, and it was, California is the land of fruits and nuts. Yeah, the people. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, it is. <laughs> <laughs> and depending on the time of year, the fruits or the nuts are up in, in the Bay Area, or they're down in the L.A. area. <laughs> oh, dillweeds is what you're saying. <laughs> so, I mean, it, and they're proving it every it, freaking day. Well, you know, it, when, when back in the day, fruits and nuts, they probably were actually talking about a harvest. But I, since, I understand they were talking about I'm a harvest. I'm talking. Stop interrupting. <laughs> Jeez, Lois, come on. Originally, back in the day, they were talking about harvests. Mm -hmm. They were talking about actual fruits and nuts. But since California is so, so amazingly intelligent, they now flush all of their fresh water that they get into the ocean to save a bait fish, so all the crops have died, and the people are now the fruits and the nuts. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See? I got but, this all figured out. The fruits and nuts, uh, being actual fruits and nuts harvests, um, was before my time. <laughs> Mine's and, funny. And, and, stop and growing up, <laughs> and growing up there, it changed to the people. Although some days I wonder about you. Oh, oh no. Yes. <laughs> Hey, yes. at least I can articulate it uh, for the most part, uh, <laughs> depending on the time. It of day. depends on the day. <laughs> depends on the day, Lois. And justify it, or I'm asking. Uh, I'm getting there. Right, right. So anyway, I'm going with their flush because I have another one, and oh, okay. you're still babbling. So if you stop talking, we can move on to the next one, Lois. <laughs> All right, so. We we have talked about this before. So for those of you that don't know, we have we have some uh, some dogs. <laughs> we have a tigger, and we have a Bengal, and the tigger is is basically kind of you know barrel shaped with legs. She's a potato with legs. Yeah, she's a potato with legs. <laughs> and then there's Bengal, who is vaguely similar to Eeyore uh, from Winnie the Pooh, because it doesn't matter what's going on, he's just kind of. No, 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 nobody loves hey, he, me. He, he, he definitely is an Eeyore. <laughs> yeah, he is. So, we were talking about how well they behave or don't behave a while back. Do you remember that, that discussion? Uh, yes, I yes, do. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, holy cow. What's, what do we have here? Diana says, a friend in Cali posted this meme. Just copied the text. Hey, PETA, I ate a pig for breakfast. I ate a chicken for lunch. And I ate a cow for dinner. Your move. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Actually, and do you know what PETA stands for? People eating tasty animals. Bam! There it is. <laughs> move, counter move. <laughs> oh, boy. And Nino is waving. Hi, Hi. Nina. Thanks for joining us. 
Oh, man. <clears throat> Let's see. It's even funnier when the internet peeps and repeats you guys. Oh. It, oh. Yeah, that's that's because that's, our, our internet connection is amazing. Yeah. We do apologize <laughs> for that. At least it's not doing the Max Headroom thing. Think of uh, that way. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so anyway, we're talking about the dogs and how amazingly well they are behaved. We do remember this conversation. I have found out why the dogs do not behave. Especially for you. Because I'm not an alpha, and they give me the puss in boots eyes like... <laughs> yeah, and she falls for it. I know. <laughs> I'm not know. the only one. <laughs> <clears throat> really? Really? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> So this is not the actual headline that I clicked on. The actual headline that I clicked on says, says stressed out people have the worst behaved dogs. Oh, this would explain a lot because my dogs, my, my sister's dogs um, have always been really well behaved. Yes, they have. They have. And so, so, so this particular headline says, well behaved dogs have the happiest owners. Stressed people are likely to have the most ill-behaved pets. Not stressed. <laughs> if you were any more stressed, you'd snap like a cheap string on a guitar. <laughs> Just saying. Like one of those plastic ones that a kid could have. Doing. Or like from the old Looney Tunes cars. You know, doing. <laughs> I wasn't going to read the rest of it. Oh, just because... It just... That it fits. <laughs> Right, Lois, right. <laughs> so I just thought I'd... You know, you wonder why your dogs don't behave. Well, there you go. According to that particular website, it's your own fault. <laughs> well, I knew it was my own fault anyway. But now you know why. <laughs> because you're always stressed. The dogs won't listen. So there you go. <laughs> but that does explain a lot. My, my sister, um, she has her own stresses. But, uh, if her dog was any more relaxed, you might as well have it stuffed. Pretty much. <laughs> I'm just saying, cute dog, amazing personality. But if it was any more chillaxed, you might as well <laughs> stuff it. <laughs> it could just lay there and every once in a while I reach over and pet it. It's very friendly and very mild-mannered. <laughs> David says, my pets just run away. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's why we have to put ours on a leash to let them outside. No, that's because they want to chew, bite, gnaw, well, and try they, and kill everything that moves. Well, other than that, but uh, besides that, they jump the fence and run. Yes, <laughs> because they found something in the air that they have to chase. <laughs> because I guess I'm stressed. Because they can feel it coming <laughs> in the air tonight. Oh, Lord. <laughs> All right, so what do you got for us today, Lois? <laughs> what do you got for us today? It's not second from the bottom today. Oh, um, oh, what's going so, on over there? <laughs> so, um, you, you, you shared the fire ants. Yes, fire yeah. ants of doom. All right, so doom. this one, I, I, I can't look because you can't block out the video that they give. Um, that doesn't and, sound promising. And But the headline... It, it is exactly what my response would be. Oh, boy. So, oh, boy. <laughs> all right, so I'm trying to pull this one up here, Lois? Yes, Lo you are. All right, all right. What do we got? What do we got? I can't look because the video just... <coughs> oh, my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> she looked. All right. So I'll go ahead and hit pause on the video so we get... Oh. Oh, there it is. There it is. I can't... I'm waiting for it to pause. I can't, I can't do it. Hold <laughs> on, Lois. Oh, yeah. Lois is gone. All right. So it's not playing. All right. Here is the headline I'm for like, you. I'm and, just going to stay shut. And... Yeah, she's keeping her eyes closed because of the huge picture. This is the headline. And you know what? I actually agree with this. <laughs> Come on, Lois. It's all right. It's all right. It's just on the screen. Georgia woman finds 30 brown recluse spiders inside a new house. And then there is a quote. We should just burn it down. Yes. I agree with you 100%. Yes. Burn that sucker to the ground. You know, I'm not, I'm not really scared of spiders, but 30 brown recluses, that's the ones that you see. Uh -huh. that, usually that's only a very small fraction of what's actually in there. But 30 brown recluse spiders, holy monkey. That's a lot. 
I couldn't wow. even scroll through it to read it. I yeah. just saw the article. Pretty the much. Headline. Did you change it? No, I'm not going to. Uh, you have to just deal with it. Because I want to share with our audience exactly why you're freaking out. Oh, I can't. That I is what is can't. on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> no. 30 of those buggers in there. She's like, we should just burn it down. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I agree. Do it. I, I, I just, no. <laughs> Burn that thing to the ground. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, I can't no. even imagine. No, I don't want and to And it's not imagine. like it's Daddy Long Legs, man. It's Brown Recluse. That's, the, that's one of the I, nasties. I'd be fine with, with the Daddy Long Legs on the screen. Yeah, Daddy Long Legs <laughs> is fine. Woo oh, no. 30 Brown Recluses. Nope, nope, nope. All right, so for those of our viewers who have done, hopefully you're done screaming now. <laughs> We do apologize. Just had to share Lois's pain. Wah, 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 wah. It's gone, Lois. It's, it's gone. not. <laughs> There's <laughs> lag. She's looking at it on the others. <laughs> oh, Renee goodness. says arachnophobia. Big yes. time. <laughs> I do not hide it. Nope. I do not pretend to be all. Uh, yep, that that that's me. I I do not pretend to be all strong and macho with it. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> that is funny right there, I'm telling you. Okay, there we go. Is it gone now? Yes. It's well, gone. in the peripheral the peripheral vision I could I could see it on my phone. <laughs> I just No. Yes, the movie. I, I stupidly did watch that movie. <laughs> yeah, she scared of spiders to death, but she watched arachnophobia. And I was actually scared of them before I watched the movie. And what, that made it better? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would you do that? I I I actually had um my eyes were closed most of the time. I I had to force myself. I think you can hear him skittering open. across uh, yes, the floor. Yes, yes. So it probably made it worse. <laughs> oh, that was. She just says, "Burn, burn it down." Yes, yes. Burn yes. that thing to the ground. I'm not arachnophobic. I don't like him. But I'm not arachnophobic. Usually, if they leave me alone, I will leave them alone. But if you find 30 of them in a new house, burn uh -uh. it. Burn that thing burn down. <laughs> Renee says, I'm right there with you. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, man. That is some nasty stuff. It is. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let, let's get a thumbs up or a smiley face for Lois and arachnophobia, shall we? Uh, <laughs> Thank you guys for liking, commenting, and sharing, by the way. We do appreciate it. Oh, we have goodness. quite a few today. Look at that. We got 11. Yeah. Look at that. All right. Go, awesome. guys. Go. Thanks. All right. Yes, Gina. <laughs> they right scare her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll bet. I'll bet. All um, right. What else do we have today? <laughs> so, um, uh, we, we have several things. Um, all right, uh, let's go to this one. Second from the bottom? No, because... No? Oh, oh. no, 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 This one here? Yeah, that one. Oh, okay. All right, what do we got here? So, right. we have a real-life um, episode of The Simpsons going on. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, my goodness, you're so true. I saw this. <laughs> Kelly says, holy mother. Yes, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> I'm right there with you. Apparently, she's got a lot more lag than everybody right, right. else. <laughs> Or she, it took her that t that long to be able to type it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, all right, all right. So, <clears throat> this is a real life episode of The Simpsons. It is. <laughs> and I actually saw this on the real news earlier. I was reading, you know, like a bunch of different headlines. This is a thing. It is a real life. And it's from Fox. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Real news. <laughs> Quote, unquote. <laughs> Unless you're in Russia, then it's probably fake. Ooh. Probably. <laughs> or in Missouri, and who knows. But anyway. All right, so, athlete banned from all-you-can-eat restaurant for eating too much. <laughs> and from what I saw, this has got to be the same one. So, he was at a sushi bar, at an all-you-can-eat sushi bar, and he ate 100 plates of sushi. Yes. And it's so the they one. banned him. <laughs> <laughs> I could just see the horror. <laughs> <laughs> Sushi. <laughs> you really need to do voiceovers. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah. Um, it was a come to see the freak. Stay for the food. It, <laughs> you remember that? that is a yes. Episode. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or when they when he got sent to hell and they were stuffing him with hot dogs. Oh that? yeah. 
<laughs> and they're like, he just kept getting whiter and whiter. <laughs> and they're like, we don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, so no. um, and so yeah, real life, real life episode of The Simpsons. Someone has been banned from a, a, an all you can eat restaurant. That is hilarious. Yeah, it don't is. advertise all you can eat unless you're willing to put out for it because. Uh, yeah, you have instances like this. Yep, it could happen. Although, you could try and monetize it like they did in The Simpsons where the guy's like, Car, come to see the freak, stay for the food. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> oh, and, and, I mean, you. <laughs> and then you wonder, you know, what size of plates, and if it was... I saw it. Uh, were they the little ones? Yeah, it was a little plate with, like, one piece of sushi on each one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's not as bad as it sounds, but... But it, the headline is great. Just taking the but, no, I was, I was just wondering if it was the sashimi or the nigiri, and... I have no idea. With or without rice. I don't even know uh, what that is. <laughs> I don't like sushi. I, I know you don't. <laughs> I don't care what it's called. It's raw fish. I don't like it. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, it was just, you know, one yeah. of those. It's yeah, when I saw it, they actually had a picture of it, and it was these, like, little saucer things with, like, one piece of sushi on each one, and it was, like, on a little belt or something. Oh, okay. And so you're like, <laughs> 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 Oh, so, yeah. goodness, no. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that. Uh, so, um, we were talking yesterday. As we are wont to do. Oh, Diana says, um, uh, keep talking like a pirate. It's National Pirate Day. Is it? I, I didn't realize is it Is it National Pirate Day? <laughs> oh, the flying spaghetti monster would be very disappointed in me for not knowing this. Yes, he would. Arr. <laughs> Is it really? Uh, apparently. Oh, and, and she says, although she missed the beginning, she's sorry if it's uh, been brought up already. No, no we didn't. No. Is <laughs> it? National Pirate Day 2018. Yes, yeah, I today it is up. National Pirate Day. No! International Talk Like a Pirate Day. Oh. <laughs> Shiver my timbers like that. The fine spaghetti monster would be disappointed in all of us. Oh, goodness. At least one of our friends brought it up then. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Need to get some fuse cord and run it through my hair. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. Uh, <clears throat> huh? <Are> you... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Renee says signs should say all you can eat, not eat all you can. <laughs> <laughs> David says raw fish not here, not in my yeah, pretty much. Nope. <laughs> I do not like the raw fish. Uh, see, I do. So, no. It, it, no. It's all good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. Yes, the flying spaghetti monster would totally be disappointed in us because this is his holiest of holy days. It is? Yes. Oh. Yes, Lois. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're going to have to get the book now, Lois. <laughs> Not yeah. right this minute, but we need to bring it out this week. You said you saw it? Yeah. We need to get it out, and you need to, to be enlightened. Oh, right. On the flying right. spaghetti monster. Right, because I don't have enough reading I have to do. Yes, but this one's entertaining. Har, <laughs> har, har. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh. So, so thank you for bringing that good point Yes, out. yes. So... Oh boy. We, were, we were talking yesterday, and um, I had mentioned, you know, and a lot of you out there may may be able to relate to this. So, when you have your bathing products, your your shampoo, your body wash, or soap, oh, we your, were talking your about shaving this, yes. creams, um, your deodorants, all of that, you know. <laughs> All Come on, these you manufacturers can do it. need to get together and make like one smell product line <laughs> because at the end of it you have a shampoo that smells one way, you have a conditioner that smells another, even if they are the same smell. <laughs> they smell or, slightly or different. They right? smell slightly different. And then you have a body wash that smells different. And so by the time you get out of the shower, at least in my experience, I smell like a Freaking fruit basket. <laughs> it's like a fine bouquet. <laughs> <laughs> and then on top of it, 
<laughs> Kelly says, One-Eyed Willie. Yes! <laughs> One-Eyed Willie's pirate treasure. <laughs> yes. Um, so, and then... Let's I'm, get some truffle shuffle out there, shall we? <laughs> arr, oh, arr, no. Arr. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, smelling that, like a bouquet of breathe. fruit basket. What the, oh, Lois is dead. Lois, no <laughs> one can see you. <laughs> oh, oh. Lois broke encounter to infinity <laughs> and beyond. Arr, arr. Lois broke encounter broken. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's broken every day um, at some point. Today it yes. seems a bit uh, a bit farther than usual. <laughs> So, so on top of coming out of the shower smelling like a fruit basket, okay, then, you know, manufacturers... Wait! A fruit basket? Perhaps it's from California. Probably. <laughs> um, Which is why they can't agree on it. It's just fruits and nuts. A random eclectic blend, if you will. <laughs> yeah, because then you have coconut, which I know isn't a nut. It's a fruit. Um, <laughs> but you have almond as well. <laughs> but anyway, so on top of it, deodorants do not have the same smells as the body washes and the shampoos. So basically, it's a war of the fragrances, so, and whatever yes, is it is. stronger and so, survives. You know, like, like on top of smelling, I don't know, uh, raspberry or, or strawberry. Schnorberry, you know, huh? Um, you, <laughs> let's throw throw on top of this smell some baby powder. <laughs> Well, what? what? Don't you put baby powder on your fruit before you eat it? <laughs> no, I don't. And then, and then, to top off all of these smells that you've already inundated yourself with, let's throw in some perfume. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, was originally invented to hide the fact that you hadn't bathed in a month. <laughs> and is still used in France for that reason today. <laughs> just say so, it. just dawned on me yesterday because... All of the different smells, and I'm going, wait a minute here. <laughs> this is not right. <laughs> so, yeah. They're I, just trying to hijack the senses. Uh, they, they are, are, they are. And it just. <laughs> do the news with the says, do the news with the pirate voice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could pull it off. I'm pretty good at military bearing, but I might lose it. <laughs> So yeah, that was my epiphany. That yesterday. was your epiphany. That, that was my epiphany. coming out of the shower smelling like a cornucopia of fruit products. It, yes, is odd. It, it is. And then you know, having to add on the the deodorant and and whatnot. And it, the perfume. No, I don't add on perfume. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure what that it, is. It's a skull and crossbones. Oh, is it? Yay! <laughs> shower light hammers, my day. So, okay, um, I guess we have time to hit one more. Oh, yes, we do. We do. Let's scroll down. What do you got for us today, Lois? This one. This we'll one here? that one tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> right, come on, come on. There we go. Oh, what? <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Just the headline. It's just the headline. Woman arrested for selling marijuana edibles at a church event. Well, good on you there, Mickey, trying to be an entrepreneur, but probably not legal. <laughs> no, it's not legal yet in Georgia. <laughs> Woman arrested for selling marijuana edibles at a church event. Oh, you know what? I will give her credit. At least she was selling them and not spiking like the the communion wafers. Uh, this is true. Because then the whole church. Oh man! Oh, this oh, that would be a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like the Mississippi Squirrel Revival, man. Oh, yes. <laughs> the day that church went berserk. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh. yes, um, this this was a, a church event, okay. and it was in Savannah. Was it a bake sale? In a way, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it, was, it was one of their bake sale... Um, Charity fundraiser, yeah, where got, it, yeah, where they have the clothing and 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 stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh um, man, that is. Guess epic. what, honey? It's still illegal in Georgia. In Georgia? <laughs> yeah. Apparently, the devil has not gone down to Georgia yet. So you're gonna have to wait. <laughs> so, yeah. I just I saw this in a real life. <laughs> That <laughs> is you, amazing. I mean, could you see? Because they had they had. Was brownies. it a sweet little old lady? 
No. Oh. <laughs> Same didn't <even> matter. <laughs> it, it was two young women. Okay. Two right. young women. Um, <laughs> trying to be entrepreneurs, good for you. However, make sure you check your local laws first. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Check the local constabulary there and see if they have anything to say about it. Oh my gosh, Renee! Potluck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Renee says potluck. That's right. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? That's amazing. <laughs> oh, he's a potluck. Oh, oh that's oh, epic. That is funny. Oh. And Mario's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, so man. yeah, um... Uh, they they were trying to um, help raise money for the church and all of this, and obviously this was the way that they knew how. However, you need to check your laws next time. <laughs> and and some of these things look freaking yummy, um, because what? they've got the brownies, they have um, crispy treats, they have cookies, things of that nature. Just leave. Them drugs out of them. <laughs> yep. You would have been good. That potluck <laughs> should not have the pot in it. Definitely not. <laughs> so, I mean, it just, yeah. And, like, one of the cookies over um, on this side, uh -huh. it, it looks like it's a macadamia or a white chocolate cookie. All right, so, well, now that you keep talking about it, I guess i got to show everybody, because no one has yeah. any idea what you're talking about here. Yeah, sorry. We'll just transition <laughs> it over. So, that that is a sampling of the uh, the contraband. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, just, they would have been fine had they just left the marijuana yeah, out. but now you can ask for a higher price, right? <laughs> uh, and apparently get it confiscated. And if you, you can't see it here, hold on, let me scroll down a little bit. For, for our audience. Apparently, she was also armed with the pink pistol. Uh, that was actually in the vehicle. Oh. Yeah, yeah. so that was... that. It, it goes into other things. All right. Just All the right. fact that they were selling this at, at a church function is, is freaking hilarious. Oh, man. <laughs> that is something else. Um, But, yeah, you know, good on you for trying to, trying to help out. Just check your local laws. Definitely, definitely. Just do it, or else you end up in a world of hurt. <laughs> Well, on that uh, fine note of the intelligence of humanity, I do believe we shall call her today. Oh, no! Oh, Diana is oh, asking, not. were they cooked on a foreman grill? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yesterday. Yes, I remember from yesterday. And caught on fire. Yeah. I wonder if these people are all related. <laughs> it's like a genetic strand of idiocy that streams throughout the country. And so many oh. people must be related to each other. Oh, I'm my goodness. Saying. So, so anyway, I had to put that one out. On that note, sir, of fine human intelligence, I do believe we'll call it a day. All right. Arr. I can't even do the voice right now because I'm laughing too much. <laughs> Thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing on all these posts. We do appreciate it. Thank you for being a part of the network. We will see you guys soon. And don't forget, LP and in the shirt is one of the sponsors for today's morning show. And Hank the Tank. And Hank the Tank is modeling for us. <laughs> A would-be Rupert, if you will. <laughs> honorary Rupert. Yes, honorary Rupert he is. Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> oh, my. All right, who's ready for some Rupert? I am. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.